Greetings Android users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices, and I'm here with my Amazon Kindle Fire HD 7-inch tablet. Uh, as you can see, it's running something that it's probably uh, not meant to run, uh, or at least not by Amazon standards. Uh, what I'm going to do here in this uh, video is show you a quick demonstration of how far uh, we've come on the development for uh, Signage and Mod 10 to run on this device. Uh, as you can see right here, this is Clockwork Recovery. Um, this uh, is something that is used after you get around the bootloader. Uh, the bootloader has been uh, unlocked, and so we have the ability to put this recovery on it. And uh, I'm just going to, I've already installed it and installed all the fun stuff on it, so I'm just going to do a reboot and, uh, and show you what occurs. Now, um, there are still some... Uh, quite a ways to go. As you can see there's a little uh, glitchiness here. This is uh, a result of um, well, <laughs> what we believe to be just a resolution issue. Um, once it goes into, and you'll see it here just in a moment, this is a lot of fun to see. Uh, I could watch this all day long running on this tablet. Anyway, uh, just so you guys know, this build is very, very rough. Uh, this is based on the work that has been done by uh, Green, who uh, has uh, chosen the 8.9 inch tablet uh, as his development uh, area. And what I'm going to do is, as he uh, does uh, his magic on that device, I will uh, port what I can over here to the 7 inch tablet. Um, it, there have been some subtle differences that have had to be worked out uh, over the course of doing this. So it, it is going to be a slow process, but it is coming along, uh, in my opinion, uh, fairly well to get to this point. So uh, just to give you an example here, uh, we do have full working touchscreen. Uh, that was something that I had to uh, fiddle with quite a bit to get to work. Uh, I do have my soft keys at the bottom, and uh, it, Wi-Fi is working now. That was something I just got... Uh, fixed up maybe about 10 minutes ago. Uh, anyway, it's still a very rough build. So uh, as it stands right now, uh, there's there's Wi-Fi is working, touchscreen is working, um, video playback is not working, uh, there's no sound, there's no Bluetooth, um, there's, there's a couple uh, subtle things that need to occur. Um, uh, Green showed in his video that uh, Angry Birds was working, so I feel the need to uh, duplicate his process here just to show that we're kind of on the same page. Uh, you'll notice that my soft keys are staying on the screen here. Um, not exactly sure where that's coming from. I'll, I'll work that out. I'm sure it's just a subtle little thing. But see, you can see that this is working uh, just fine, just like it did in his build. And, and this is basically his build. All I've done is just do what needed to be done to make it work for uh, this device. Um, so. So you can see, whoop, I just threw a, a Luke away. There we go. All right, so essentially, uh, you know, it demonstrates that it does work just fine. Uh, I'll go ahead and press home here because everybody uh, knows how to play Angry Birds, I'm sure. Uh, there is no screen uh, rotation or anything like that just yet. Um, it, one thing that I've noticed on this build that uh, and I'm sure it's just a... a uh, something silly that I'm missing here is that the screen appears to be smaller than the actual tablet so when I switch from home to home uh, it, it's almost like phone size as opposed to being tablet size if anybody has the answer to that please <laughs> post it uh, either on reverendkyle.com or on uh, XDA developers or drop me an email or something um, because this is this is kind of annoying I can't figure out quite why that's happening uh, but you know this is just showing you that it's 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 coming along uh, it's coming along real nice and uh, it's just one of those things where everybody needs to be patient uh, and I, I've officially have about a thousand people who have volunteered to be alpha testers for this I appreciate that uh, when it comes to a point where we can actually use some folks to try some things out uh, don't worry I will come and get you uh, so so there's not a lot of uh, 
And there's not a lot of advantages to uh, saying, hey, I'd like to help, I'd like to do this. If you have some things that you can offer in terms of development, fantastic. Um, the other thing too is keep in mind that as the 8.9 Kindle Fire gets developed, uh, that will kind of push this as well because this is based on what Green has done. Uh, I also want to throw a big thanks to Hashcode <laughs> who has uh, assisted me in a few of the uh, things that have uh, forced me to pull half of my hair out. So uh, that's it. Uh, just, you know, just a quick demonstration of where we are. I mean, it's actually sort of functional, I suppose, uh, at this point. So at least it looks like something we're used to seeing. And that's what I like to hear. So. Um, I guess that's it, so I'll go ahead and leave it at that. Uh, again, feel free to drop me an email if you think that there's something that you can uh, provide in terms of some, some of these silly little things that are bothering me. And uh, we'll see where we go from here. There will be more updates as we come along. This has been Reverend Kyle showing you the uh, first look at CyanogenMod 10 on the Amazon Kindle Fire HD 7-inch tablet.